Welcome to our program on Kardec Radio. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Program to Know Spiritism number 128. I'm Geraldo Lemos Neto, and I'm here with Marco Gandra from Portal Saber Espiritismo in Belo Horizonte, Brazil. Tonight, we are going to initiate another series of studies around the subject, the Spiritist view of prophecies and mediumship, and hope you enjoy it. Uh, we are transmitting live for Kardec Radio, Spiritism Dissemination, and also DSN, Discovery Spiritism Network. Let's see what in the gospel we can extract about this. And Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, versicles 17 and 18, that is a reference of the prophet Joel, chapter 2, versicles 28 and 29, we can read, In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days, and they will prophesy. So we are seeing in this extract from the Bible that the seal of the transitory times that we are living on these days is exactly the mediumship of prophecy. Uh, in other religious schools, they say it prophecy. And here, with us, with the Spiritist doctrine, we used to say that it is the mediumship of prescience, because Alain Kardec, our codifier, wrote a chapter, the chapter 16 of his last book, The Genesis, The Miracles, and The Prophecies According to Spiritism. And in this very chapter, the chapter 16, he presented us with the theory of prescience. That is, the one that says that, that the higher spirits told him and uh, instructed him that this faculty of mediumship, of prescience, is a very rare one. And it is not given to anyone or to all kinds of mediums, but only to those mediums and to those spirits that are sufficiently spiritualized, or in other words, that are effectively, effectively uh, dematerialized. And so that we understand that a very few people in the world throughout all those centuries had have, have had this kind of mediumship. And uh, especially nowadays when we see all kinds of mediumship with the common men and women, we must understand that the mediumship of prophecy is a very rare one. All the other ones, like it's saying here, uh, that uh, sons and daughters we would, would prophesy or uh, young men would be, have visions, that is a clairvoyance mediumship. Old men would have dreams uh, like the, the, the mediumship to go out of the body, the experience of going out of the body, body and see the spiritual plans. There are 
all kinds of uh, mediumship that is going on nowadays. But the prophecy one, the prescience one, is a very special one. And we can understand that every human being has a primitive mediumship because mediumship is in its true origin, a communion of thoughts. So whoever has a thought or a feeling and expresses it automatically uh, goes into contact with the ones that think and feel like him. So it is a, a fact of life since the primitive human kinds or human societies. And after Christianism, we could see, and also in the times of the prophets, in Jewish uh, religion, we could see the mediumship going to another uh, path, another role, a different uh, subject, because it was used to bring to earth the revelations from the spiritual plans, especially the higher spiritual plans. And we can understand also that it is always evolving. And the spirit do this doctrine is the first one that will approach the mediumship and especially the mediumship of pre-science with uh, a, an approach of a treaty of mediumship that is the science of spiritism presented to us first by Alan Kardec with the book of the mediums and later on with his last book, the Genesis, the miracles and the predictions according to his spiritism so that we now are able to understand a lot more around the faculties of mediumship. So nowadays we are living in a transition time that will lead us to the regeneration, the times of regeneration that will probably, most probably come by the middle of this 21st century. And one important thing that we must understand and practice is that we must have a higher morality. We must have the, the purpose to uh, enlighten ourselves and to have better thoughts and better feelings towards the all, all what the gospel of Jesus taught us, the pathway to the truth, the pathway to love. And that is what we all are living in this transitional time on earth and also in our beloved spiritist doctrine. So mediumship is a factor of evolution. Yes, it is from the medium himself, because he or she would experience the feeling of being an inter-existence being, and for, for the others, from others that, are, that live around the mediums, the humanity in general, because they can be uh, in a circumstance where they can understand, they can have instruction, higher instructions around their lives, and also inspiration, 
inspiration to be a good person or a better person, inspiration for society as a whole to overcome all kinds of difficulties with faith, with fraternity, with solidarity, and with the feeling that we all are brothers and sisters and we must embrace us, ourselves in the pathway to evolution. Next week in the program to know Spiritism 129, we are going to talk about this chapter 18 of the last book of Allan Kardec, the Genesis, the miracles and the predictions according to Spiritism. But at that time, we will talk about the signs of the times. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy it. And we wait for you next week at Kardec Radio, DSN, and also Spiritism Dissemination. Bye-bye. Have you all a very good night.